Hey, yo, what's good with y'all? So in today's video, we are in Photoshop and I'm going to be showing you how I made this thumbnail right here up on the screen. Now let's get it. So when you open Photoshop, you're going to want to click file. You're going to want to click new. All right. And you're going to want to make your width 1920 by 1080. You're going to want to have your resolution at 300. And it doesn't matter what your background contents are. They can be black. It, can, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to just make it transparent for this case. I'm going to click create. All right. So we're going to have this transparent background. Okay. I'm gonna click file, I'm gonna click open, and we're gonna I'm gonna be getting a Roblox screenshot. If you do not know how to make uh take a for Roblox screenshot, is what I meant to say. I'll show you in this clip right here. Alright, so we are on Roblox, we're on one of my favorite games. The well, the game that I upload for this channel, Arboreal 3. So if you want to do, if you want to take a screenshot, you can either click the print screenshot key on your keyboard, and as you can see, it'll say screenshot taken on the, the right corner, or you can also click escape on your keyboard, you go to record and take a screenshot and it takes a screenshot right for you all right let's input a screenshot into photoshop so in this case i use a specific background as, as you can see in this thumbnail that which we're trying to make re well basically remake okay so we're gonna click file we're gonna go to open and i'm going to find the background which in which we use which was this one right here now we're gonna drag click v on our keyboard or you can just click this move we're gonna convert this to a normal layer and we're gonna move this until our untitled one thing and we're gonna make sure that it fits completely in yeah there you go now what we're gonna do we're gonna click we're gonna add a new layer next to the trash button right here we are going to right click rectangle marquee tool and we're gonna highlight all of this okay now right click on your mouse fill contents you just take click this you scroll down until you see white you click white click okay now you can go to select you can either hit ctrl d on your keyboard or you can just select deselect and you should be fine now we are going to highlight this with our mouse click on your your left mouse button you're going to highlight this okay until you see the the border perfectly angled like this as so you let it go with your with your mouse backspace on your keyboard hit select you can either go select deselect or you can click ctrl d on your keyboard either or it works now we're gonna go to overlay and as you can see this is our next step to adding a border okay now we're gonna right click on layer 3 blending options and add a drop shadow and i'm going to change the size of this guy i do not want this to be this size so i want to make this size around 49 49 is perfect in this situation so spread 14 size 49 click okay now we're going to go to color burn as you can see we have a transparent background transparent border is what i'm gonna say so now what we're gonna do next we're gonna add a motion blur okay so we're gonna go to filter we're gonna go to blur click blur motion blur now the distance of this should be at a 50 angle and the distance should be 10 that's perfect enough click okay okay now what we're gonna be doing next we're going to we're gonna add more brightness onto our background all right we're gonna click filter camera raw filter what we're gonna do we're gonna make the temperature plus 13 on our temperature makes it more brighter more exposure also makes it more brighter that's what we want we're gonna make our texture around 30 texture okay and we're gonna want more clarity on ours as well around like a 35 clarity clarity that's pretty good saturation we're gonna want it up to a 30 so it adds more color onto our background and we'll click okay now if we compare the two the one from one the, the one before and the one after as you can see this one's a lot brighter than the other one okay and now what we're gonna do we're gonna be adding our roblox gfx onto this now if you want to know how to make a real gfx there's a whole bunch of G, uh, gfx tutorials on youtube if you just type out how to make a roblox gfx tutorial it should pop up and you can learn how to make a gfx but we're gonna click file we'll click open and we are going to go to pictures for thumbnail well that's my file name this is my gfx right here 24k drip gfx okay i'm going to drag this on to my untitled one my my actual thumbnail i'm trying to make now what we're gonna what we're gonna do we're gonna click Control t to transform this free transform this and we're gonna want to make this bigger okay you can make it smaller you can make it bigger in this case we want to make it bigger this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna make it bigger till it fits in and yeah that should be perfect as you can see our character is a little bit too it's way too dark i'm not gonna lie so what we're gonna do we're gonna make a, make this brighter so we're gonna go to filter and we're gonna go to camera raw filter i'm gonna add some temperature onto this i'm gonna add some exposure onto this make it around like a two yeah actually a little bit 2.4 yeah that's that works add some more contract onto this like 11 contrast add some texture 
plus 14. We got some clarity onto this. Plus 23. This should be good. And a little bit of saturation. We don't want too much. A little bit. I'll say about plus 7 works. And we're going to hit OK. Now, this is a lot brighter. I am not going to lie to you. Okay, now we're going to right click on our layer 4. And we're going to go to blending options. And we're going to add a stroke. We're going to add a white a white outline onto him. So we're going to add a stroke. Well, this is, this is a little bit too much of a stroke. We're going to want to size this down. This is a good size 8 is perfect. We're going to want to position outside and blend normal. Drop shadow. Now this shot drop shadow, I'm going to add a little bit more size onto this. We're going to make 14 spread, 62 size. We want a normal blend, opacity 100% on an angle of 90. We're gonna drag this, click OK, and that should be that should be perfect. Ah, uh, now yes, this is my favorite part. So we're gonna go to File, we're gonna go to Open, and we're gonna be using my th uh, thumbnail pack, okay? So if you look up on YouTube, there's a bunch of thumbnail packs that you can look for. I'm gonna in today's video, I'm gonna be using a retro pack Gambit's Create. I'm gonna be posting a link to this in the description below and you to cop this uh thumbnail pack but we're gonna be adding some smoke onto our to our thumbnail so go down to smoke number three we're gonna select this we're gonna drag this onto our untitled one onto our actual thumbnail and we're gonna click Control c and we're gonna keep we're gonna keep copying this so i'm gonna put it lower like down here i'm gonna click Control v keep just keep copy and pasting smoke until there's enough smoke and i'm just gonna like mess with mess around with the position of the smoke all right because i don't want i don't want like too much smoke on the character but i want like just enough you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna get back to you when i position all this okay all right so i positioned the smoke to where i wanted it all to be we're gonna hit control and we're gonna select all these layers of smoke okay i'm going to put all these layers of smoke under the character under our layer one under under our layer four our character and the smoke is now behind the character which is what i wanted now what we're going to be doing we're going to be adding this sg playmaking shooter as you can see the things that are behind the character what's also beside the character onto this so i'm going to be going back to my my uh draft we're going to be going to open i'm going to type in sg play shooter png i already took a, a, a snip of this in roblox if you want to know how to do this i'll show you right now all right so what we're going to be doing i'm going to go in my snipping tool i'm gonna type it in again if you have a windows computer you should have a snipping tool i'm gonna be clicking tab view skills all right and let me load yeah snipping tool should be here new i take a snip of this this part of the thumbnail right click save as sf shot play five save that and, if you want, and since we rent, we're going to add this other part to the back, and we're going to click new. We're going to take a screenshot of this. All right. Right click. Save as. And you save it onto your thing. Now, let's get back into Photoshop. So we're going to drag this onto our untitled one. We're going to right click polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to go all over this because I want to remove the backing of this. I don't, I don't want this backing of this here so i'm gonna try my best and get the backing all removed i'm gonna do a little speed run of this whilst doing this and yeah we'll get right right back into it and now that i have finished all of that i'm going to click backspace and it should remove the back ring of this and as you can see there's like little lines and shit right here i'm gonna click e on my eraser tool or you can just click you can also click here there's also a racial tool for you and yeah i'm gonna just take the erase all of that because i do not i don't want that there at whatsoever and yeah this, this is the product how it looks like we're gonna be adding a stroke to this so right click layer five blending options we're gonna add a stroke and as you can see there's still like little lines on the thing you click okay we're gonna erase them white parts we don't want these like white parts here at all it doesn't it doesn't match with this at all so i'm gonna erase this and yeah this is how it should look like and now we're gonna right click blending options we're gonna add our drop shadow onto this like matches with the border a little bit somewhat uh size 14 i'm gonna add, uh, like decrease the size make it around 49 and i'm gonna de decrease the stroke too i'll make this around like six now i think this is perfect i'm going to click Control t i'm going to transform this and we're gonna make this bigger put this around around here you feel me i think that's good enough now what we're gonna be doing next we're gonna click filter camera raw filter i'm gonna be adding a little bit of temperature onto this like 13 N not too much exposure like around 0.1 i'm gonna add a little bit of texture 13 texture little bit more clarity around six and we're gonna add a little bit of saturation with six saturation a little bit of a difference you know now i'm going to put input this onto here and we have we have this here and we're gonna take out the backing of this 
so we'll put this into our thumbnail you're gonna want you're gonna want this to be behind the character you don't want this to be in front of the character you don't want this to be here like you don't want that you want this to be behind layer four or just behind your gfx in general okay i'm gonna make this a little bit bigger rotate this control t i'm gonna rotate it i'm gonna make this a little bit bigger okay a little bit bigger i think right here yeah it's a it's perfect right here is perfect but since we're gonna have to take out the background of this i'm going to have to put this above this to, to be able to see it polygonal lasso tool and yeah you know the same gerald we're gonna have to remove the backing so i'll see you when we remove remove this backing now i've added a stroke to this so we're gonna go to blending options i added the stroke uh made the soaks the stroke six outside position blend normal i'm going to also be adding a drop shadow onto this normal uh 1449 i think that's pretty good i'm gonna make this 54 i think that's good i'm gonna do the change on the other one after we're gonna put this under this as i said before and we're going to be adding camera raw filter onto this so you know the drill 13.1 i think it was like a either three or six i'm gonna go with six vibrance we're gonna saturation three add a little bit of texture onto this a little bit of clarity onto this now what we're gonna be doing next we're gonna go back to our layer two or our background basically and we're gonna be going to our gradient map we're gonna want to add our gradient map yeah above our layer two and we're gonna make this yellow i don't want this to be this color whatsoever so i'm gonna go color i'm gonna make this yellow good i'm also gonna delete this i don't want that i don't want this black at all i'm gonna make the other side yellow and as you can see the the background is fully covered with yellow so what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna lower the opacity of this i do not want a lot i do not want a lot of yellow in this whatsoever so i'm gonna make this around 47 and i'm going to lower the fill of this as well i'm going to make this around i think 46 works best in this case so now we're going to be adding all of these green particles that you can see on this thumbnail so this is from again another thumbnail pack so i'm going to be going to a file open and i'm going to be going to my thumbnail pack this thumbnail cap comes from tempers gfx thumbnail pack it's a really good thumbnail pack you should check it out link in the description i'll put the thumbnail pack so what we're gonna have to do we're gonna unclick this because we don't want that there all right you want to go to cartoon flames you want to go to the last one this one last one here we're gonna uh select this we're gonna view this and we're gonna drag this into our untitled one our actual thumbnail right here like so we are going to we're gonna put this above our layer four our character this is what we want so i'm gonna put this above our character and yeah this is our our thing so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to image we're gonna go to adjustments we're gonna go to hue and we're gonna change the color of this to green so i want this to be green i'm gonna move this to the right and yeah this is as green as i'm pretty sure i wanted it to be so i'm gonna click ok and we're gonna we're gonna add some flames everywhere i'm gonna free transform this add flames and stuff like that it looks very very cool in my opinion these flames right here i love i love the way they look and i'm gonna click control control v control c i'm just gonna move them all over the place you know what i'm saying transform them like put them wherever i want them to be but for the, in this case i'm gonna want to put this under my layer five i believe so you know i don't want them to go all be all over my th that thing but i want i want the main focus to be on the character put this all over here these cartoon flames look very very fire I, I'm, I'm i'm not gonna say so myself but i'm all over my thumbnail here just mess around with them you know you got you guys can mess around too but the, these flames wherever you want to put them all right now looking back at the original it's still not finished yet i still there's, there's still some things i have to do so what we're gonna be doing i'm going to be adding a new layer next to the trash the trash bin as you can see i'm going to click b on my keyboard or you can go here and click on the brush tool yourself we i size this you can click here to size this i size this at 328 px well pixels and the hardness at 21 percent what we're going to be doing i'm going to add a little brush onto them we're going to instead of normal we're going to go to overlay and as you can see look at look at look at how the character gets brighter like look at it it's a lot brighter now i don't want not want it to be this bright so what we're going to be doing well we're going to make the forehead bright a little bit as well that's what i'm going to be doing but i'm also going to lower the opacity of this so it like it's bright but i don't want it way too bright you know what i'm saying like it's good see like look how bright it is like that's good enough i th think that's good enough all right now from the original we also have to put the smoke 
above the playmaker shooter layer and we also have to make the background lighter there's less gradient map on the background than this one okay so first i'm going to lower the opacity of the gradient map i'm going to make it around 21 percent and i'm also going to lower the fill as well i'm going to make this 26 percent whoa 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 no 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 higher than that 29 29 is perfect in this case i'm gonna go also to this layer 5 i'm gonna bring this layer 5 down the playmaking shooter thing i'm gonna bring it down i want the smoke to be above this yep that's perfect right there that's what we that's what we need i also want to bring this lower the the flames lower because i do not want the flames to get in the way of the stats of the player you know what i'm saying i'm also going to hire like the brightness the overall brightness as you can see from the original the brightness of the background is a, is a lot more and so also a lot more colorful so i'm gonna do that as well filter camera raw filter i'm gonna hire the temperature of this a little bit add a little bit more exposure 0.25 should be good i'm going to add a bit more texture a bit more clarity onto this and i'm also gonna add some saturation to make this more colorful and 23 should be good and yeah that's basic this is basically it for a thumbnail this is basically how i made this thumbnail it looks pretty similar as you can see but yeah that is basically it let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions problems or concerns also subscribe to the channel and hit that like button down below if you actually like the video you could dislike the video if you actually dislike the video but yo if your thumbnails are not good after this video bro i'm about to really pull up on your block and shoot your dumb ass no cap bro i'm on your dumb ass if your thumbnails are not good after this all right i'll see you later peace y'all